Grand Rising, Grand Rising YouTube. This is Stephanie, aka ED Nihas to Sapapa, aka Tantaro, and I am here as you see, ready to do some readings. I'm not in my element, not in my tent, but yeah, maybe soon I'll go out there. But um, yeah, so I'm here hopefully to conclude these love readings that I started maybe four days, four or five days ago, and yeah, just hadn't been able to finish them, um, but hopefully I plan to do that tonight. I am currently on the sign of Capricorn, so let's get your twin flame uh, relationship, soulmate messages, whatever it is, could be twin flame, could be soulmate, could be a uh, fly-by-night situation, or you know, could be an ending to something, who knows, but um, all, all messages I, you know, pray that will be for your highest good. Anything that ever happens is for your highest good. Nothing is coincidence. Everything is to bring you closer to um, enlightenment. So, divine forces of unconditional love of the highest microcosm, I ask that you will come to this space now that you will bring me clear and accurate messages for the Capricorn family and love. Um... So I do see a new love here in the, uh, the Two of Wands. Uh, a decision needed, needing to be made. Are you going to ascend to a higher, um, to a higher state, one of enlightenment, clarity of thought, or will you remain stagnant and stay, you know, stay behind in fear? Will you go walk towards this new love? walk towards this new passion or will you be afraid of this ace of pentacles that is before you uh, divine forces of unconditional love what messages do you have for sign of capricorn in love the star card just fell out hope and guidance spirit is wanting to bring you some hope and bring you hope and guidance today uh, wish upon a star this relationship could be a uh, a wish fulfillment as we just have the sun card and I'm seeing the um, six of cups card about healing reconciliation you know and then I see here the harmony card the three of cups getting mind body and spirit on one accord um, I believe the sun card yep has you know, a couple on it. So being successful, being truly happy and vibrant in your relationship, growing, maturing from this childlike little love to a full adult um, relationship based out of spiritual matur maturity and just personal uh, maturity here. Maybe uh, cutting out a third party situation or just like again, like I said again, get mind, body, and spirit on one accord and um, truly choosing what's best for you these days instead of falling into the, the old pattern of choosing the wrong people to be with. You're now focused on overcoming the sadness and crying over spilt milk of relationships of past that didn't work and, you know, healing yourself to... Um, not bring that baggage into this new this new relationship so this that's the divine masculine's energy as i'm shuffling his cards these are these are for him so that's probably the message that your divine masculine has um or if you are the capricorn male maybe what you are feeling and thinking at this time you know trying to overcome that confusion past hurts um, and perhaps being a player because that seven of card seven of uh, cups card could be that of options and you may feel like you have a lot of options or you'd like to be able to have a lot of options but um, yeah it's time for you to get into a place of really choosing what's good for you not what is a fly by night uh, exciting a little clean overcoming heartbreak. I just
just saw the three of swords and then the six of uh, wands so successfully overcoming that energy divine forces of unconditional love of the highest macrocosm please bring clear and accurate messages here for the sign of capricorn only divine um beings of the highest frequency of unconditional love like peace both health and prosperity prosperity are allowed in this space right now any other energies that do not support what i just mentioned you must go i send you away with love and light you have no place here only divine energies of love like peace both health and prosperity growth expansion courage um, and abundance are allowed here in this space please bring clear and accurate messages for capricorn Thank you. Let's get the divine masculine energy on the board. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got to just do it with the, with the cards down because if I don't, I'll get to try to explain shit. So I'm going to leave that right there. But the overall energy for the divine masculine is the Ten of Swords. So an ending to the burden. So... I know he's in or he is your divine masculine ending the, ending the relationship with you Capricorn woman divine masculine are you ending the relationship or are you ending that past those past uh, mental uh, hurts from old relationships you know releasing that burden so that you can you know bring new energy into this relationship getting the divine mass feminine needs to get her heart and mind on one accord you have the two of swords maybe being blinded to some things maybe being blinded to you know her contrib contribution to the relationship to a source still on the bottom of the deck which is part of her overall energy and then three of wands um, so, um, the divine masculine is, um, his energy or what he's thinking and feeling at this time. King of Rod. So, could be, um, if you're divine feminine, you could be seeing, um, a Sagittarius, Aries, a Leo, um, divine feminine. Um, but, um, she sees him or that she's thinking and feeling at this time um, in a mind frame of uh, authority, of enlightenment, of a spiritual um, of course, enlightenment, spiritual authority, um, being in a place of um, wisdom. And passion. Oh, she, she's, she's, you know, yeah. So he's standing in his power. He's thinking and feeling at this time that he's standing in his power. And he's ready to, to move forward, to grow, and to lead. Um, what the Divine Feminine is thinking at this time. Thinking and feeling. Nine of Cups, baby. She's like, yeah. Looking at him like, oh my gosh, you're so sexy. Oh my gosh, you, I love you. Oh my gosh, I love it when you take control like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's how she's feeling. Like, okay, her overall energy was the two of swords, but it's like, I don't think she's in that anymore. I think she's very clear about what she wants. You know, she's that, you know, that the green space. That, you know, that could be the heart chakra. This could be, you know you know blockage there but you know she's convening at the heart and, and making a decision she knows that she wants to be patient and actively wait for her king to come on in with this ace of swords victory clarity triumph she wants to be triumphant in this relationship um how does the divine masculine see the divine feminine <laughs> what the fuck as his perfect motherfucking match how does a divine uh, feminine see her divine masculine that's the death card 
someone that has just, just come in and just turned her life upside down it's a debt to the old way of doing things a debt to uh feeling not worthy anymore not in being in relationships where she was not fulfilled uh mind body and spirit this could be mind body and spirit three cups like and they all are just overflowing and just everything is she it's like too good to be true that's how she kind of feeling about this divine masculine and that's why she's probably in this state here like is this real like is this real i can't i can't wrap my mind around okay so uh how does the divine uh masculine sees the relationship how does he feel like everything is going in their journey um so got the devil card capricorn this is a capricorn reading right so he feels the relationship is going in a place of it's a it's a challenge for one it's challenging himself it's challenging himself to to look within his um toxic ways again you know we were talking about him putting down the player card um and I forget what else we were talking about beforehand, but yeah, and so uh, you know, have, making him to grow, like you know, again, Capricorn, you showing up in his reading, he's showing up in yours. You know what I'm saying? Um, and how does the divine feminine feel about the relationship at this time? How she think things are going? Harmony, Three of Cups, um, happiness and celebration happiness and celebration because she found her match and he found his match in this Capricorn that you know is able to shape shift and be whatever it is that he needs her to be okay what does his higher self uh, has to say to him that he needs to leave the old way of uh, doing things behind and get to trick into this um, to find to get his uh, ten of cups to get with this uh, Capricorn again I I think I did say something about a relationship previously that he may have. He may be in a relationship right now that he needs to end. You know, as this part of his overall energy, he needs to end that uh, relationship, put down the burden, and, you know, stop crying over spilt milk. You know, um, he may have to leave. Like, this could be a family that he's, you know, a little kind of lamenting over. But again, you know, the Eight of Cups. What is the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups is a journey to your Ten of Cups. You know, leaving behind those things that are no longer serving you, that are no longer, that can no longer help you to grow and become your highest expression here in the world. You know, you can't allow family to make you stagnant because of social norms or or whatever sometimes a healthy sense of selfishness is needed or else you just lock yourself into a prison of of unfulfillment you know and this could also be uh um, he says, how does the divine masculine see the relationship? You know, usually the devil card is like an imprisonment. You know, you usually have like a male and a female in prison. And maybe he feels like this, again, this relationship, this um, is helping him to free himself and really see what's important to overcome the illusions, to see through and pass the illusions and to, you know, get his mind, and body, mind heart, and spirit on one accord to receive his uh, wish fulfillment and overcome this energy of not being supported in his current relationship you know standing guard and knowing that this may be a long tough fight but he's fighting for himself he's fighting for his heart he's fighting for his you know ability to love again and to create a generational wealth and a legacy somewhere and with the you know with that divine feminine his true equal counterpart you know opening himself up 
not being so guarded no uh, anymore uh freeing himself from this um self-created prison that he has put himself in because it's faded those those walls are faded to fall spirit is coming in and intervening and hell you may have, he may have even manifested him manifested this himself manifested this healing relationship to come in this Capricorn woman the fuck I don't want to keep going with that relationship I ain't even done with the reading okay so what obstacles does the divine masculine face working up the courage to go ahead and take a leap of faith and leave actually leave this uh that unfulfilling relationship he's in what obstacle does the divine feminine has her obstacle is you know just truly believing and understanding and, and just resting and believing that this is faded giving that divine masculine time to do what it is that he needs to do because he's going through a lot oh his outcome this is his outcome. This is how he. That is. This is what he's hoping for, to make a decision. And her outcome is the Seven of Cups, overcoming that confusion, and overcoming options. Like she don't want any more options. She just wants her divine masculine. All right. So, what messages does the divine uh, masculine have for uh, the divine feminine? So it is, I'm not the same person you remember, perhaps because he is changing, he's growing, he's maturing, he's ready to open up, you know, maybe ready to open up now in a whole way that is so, it says I just wasn't ready for you, and so I just have to do something else right now, please try to understand, he got shit, he got shit. Yeah, shit he need to work through let's get the divine feminine energy what messages does the divine feminine have for the divine masculine just being apart has been life-changing for me sorry I couldn't do right by you I don't know if I can meet your expectations so maybe she's you know feeling like again like she can't wait but remember I said the obstacle for her is you know understanding that this is fate that this relationship is faded that what she's experienced experiencing is all to, to make her to help her to grow again like you said it's a transition this relationship has allowed her to transition and to grow and to just be that butterfly she was in the cocoon state you know but in the cocoon state the caterpillar has to die to transform into the butterfly and that's a painful ass process and so you know maybe she's feeling like I can't do this this is I'm so confused. You're not allowed. You're not, you know, being open with me about what's going on in your life. So I don't really know what's where I am, where I stand with you. And, you know, I don't know if I can meet your expectations of just sitting around and waiting. But um, let's get clarifiers on the energy. Sorry. Um, so on the messages that the that are, that are coming through. So what the divine masculine wants, he said here, I'm not the same person that you remember is clarified by kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Like, I'm not the same person you remember. Like, I don't, you know, basically saying, pleading his case. It's like, she said, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. But he's like, he's like, you can now, I'm different. No, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I'm not the same person you remember. I got different expectations now. I see things differently. I love you unconditionally. And I want to give. You want to, I want this things to be in a balance. I want things to be balanced. You know? You got 
the counterparts here equal give and take you know said I, I, I just wasn't ready for you then but I'm not the same person you remember I'm not the same person you remember I'm ready for you now or I'm getting myself ready for you just be patient just, I just need you to be a little bit more patient with me he had his own demons and things that he had to battle you know I wasn't ready for you I'm not the same person you remember though I was you know ready in my snakish energy as you know we have the snake coming to clarify that it says uh, competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman you know I just wasn't ready for you I don't want you to be the other woman I want you to be my main woman. I want to do this right. Okay? I'm not the same person you remember. Um, and it says, I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. Um, and then it says, date. It says, meeting someone new, dating. Get back out there. Set, plan, or set a date. You know, I just have something else to do right now. But let's just, you know, continue to to you know meet up every now and then and you know see each other as I try to balance things out or maybe he's saying I already know that I'm not where, I, where you need me to be right now so you know, maybe he's saying go date <laughs> um until he's ready he already know that this relationship is faded and that he is the, he's the only one for you talking so or maybe he you know I just have to do something else right now maybe he wants to he needs to clean he needs to con he wants to date around or maybe he needs to conclude you know, some other little extracurricular activities that he has going on. Because again, we did say something about him putting down his player card in the beginning, releasing that burden. Because uh, we have two tens here. Ten of swords and ten of wands. So, ten of wands could be him all the, you know, him spreading his dick everywhere. He wants to bring it into that because it's too much burden. And then, you know, with the ten, with every one of those bitches that he's just digging in, you know, they have a whole wand, I mean, a whole knife of their own, and he ready to just, you know, just be done with all of that and just focus on his queen. <laughs> um, but for her message, is her message it says being apart has been life changing for me, and it's clarified by the hammer, uh, sabotage, rebuilding, uh, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So she's, you know. Even though she's at she's in this place of indecision, she still wants to work on it. She does see that um, that this is something worth worth working on. And then it says, "I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you." Her feeling like she can't wait, or it's just too much of a burden clarified by the engagement ring it says engagement partnership commitment eternity completion union it's what she wants she can't do right by you or by her divine masculine until he decides that he wants to make a commitment to her you know makes her feel special and then her message i don't know if i can meet your expectations it's clarified by i like you Says someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, wants a date. And then he got the date card here. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. But I like you. I like you a lot. She's feeling insecure. Feeling insecure about this masculine and if, you know... Perhaps if she's the only one, 
as we do have the seven of cups here which is about options you know and that was in her hoping and outcome place position so I guess she's hoping that he will clear out any other options that he may have all these other relationships or just even that one marriage that he's um, perhaps that he's in that committed relationship um, but the overall energy here uh, in the message it says the grass wasn't green on the other side and he's starting he's realizing that and that's clarified by talking you know so maybe he's going to come in with a message to let this divine his divine feminine know that you know I already know been there done that bought the t-shirt when it comes to you know being a player and dealing with all different kind of women and things like that and I know that this dating thing is not going to bring me the inner peace that I need You are my rainbow reviver. You are my inner peace. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when clouds are gray. See all the sun and all of these cards. Sun and the lovers. See the sun back there. All that brightness in the back here. With the leap of faith. All the brightness is within this queen and king energy. Let's see if I can get it all in the frame. See all that? Beautiful energy. Beautiful um, relationship can can grow and blossom into it. We just got to get our these human emotions under control. But the grass wasn't green on the other side. It's clarified by talking, which is uh, it says interested, uh, conversing more. Awaited messages arrives. Text, call, email, hovering. So, so you may be coming in with the um, with the message that you know the grass wasn't green on the other side, and feel really in, in realizing coming to the realization that the person that he was, was with. You know, was a girl with a snake. And now he's ready to tap into his true relationship with Cupid's arrows. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Followed up by the wedding rings. Glad I didn't fall. I feel like reading, reaching for union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Followed by healing heart and abundance so it's healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction it's going to leave that other person and go into the abundance here with you Capricorn or vice versa it says keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss no longer making you feel like you're the chaser anymore and like like I said here, she's you know just she knows that she needs to realize that this is faded, and you know she's putting in a lot of work, but she just needs to be a little just just a little bit more patient. And then he's gonna come chasing her, the dragonfly. I feel like uh, the dragonfly is about ancestors coming in and then just bringing healing to the situation. It says be lighthearted, finding out things, finding out things coming to light. Adopt, adapt, change, and heal. You know, bring in about new perspective. All right, so let's get a. Um, and then we have the soulmates card here popping up. Creativity, which is all about the, which is what the one suit is all about, being creative. All right, sexual freedom. And maybe this is what you guys are going, both of you guys are going to experience with each other. As we know the rods, you know, can be about passion, sexual passion. Uh, and you guys, you know, ex 
experience that with each other. Let's read sexual freedom. It says, sexual freedom and energy are, are dynamite to the human heart and soul, affording a blissful opportunity to communicate and connect deeply beyond words. Oh, yes. It says, since the sexual revolution began in the 1960s, many misconceptions about sexual freedom have evolved into supposed truth truths. The idea that having many sexual partners or that having sex early in a relationship makes a person liberated is very misleading. In our society, we often see the word love used in place of more appropriate descriptions like sex or lust, especially in the media or social conversation. But how many people you have sex with or how soon is not a genuine guideline for sexual freedom nor is it a marker to measure yourself by. Sexual freedom is a deeply personal matter. It needs to be explored with maturity and respect for yourself and the other. So again, like I said, he might be a player and he needs to put down that player card. Be thinking that he's, you know, ex expressing sexual freedom, but it's, that's not really what he's doing, you know. Um, and it says here, you know, that that's not a genuine guideline or a marker for you to measure yourself by. Oh, I got all these women, so I'm the king of rods. I'm the, I'm the vagina slayer. And all. You know, that's not, that's not cute <laughs> to measure yourself by. I'm just reading what the book says here. Okay. Um, but, um, it says, if you're seeking a new partner, it's essential that you are clear about how you value your own sexuality and be aware of the real impact that physical intimacy has upon your heart. Resist the temptation to have sex with a prospective partner in an attempt to secure a relationship. Instead, leave sex until you know each other better and can choose more wisely. So maybe that's what you guys need to do. With him being such a player and used to get in his way, maybe you guys should just put a pause on on the sex on being uh, intimate with each other until things are 100% uh, right and, and that it's flowing like, like it should that you guys create an entire moment that the room that you're in is set up and it has roses everywhere and there's nice smelling aromas going on because you got the aroma diffuser pumping out rose um, essential oils and just little essential oils that brings um, romance that, that inspire romance when you smell it and just set in the mood like just really making the sexual experience special It says, resist the temptation to have sex with the partner and attempt to secure a relationship. Instead, leave sex until you know each other more wisely. Until you can choose more wisely. In an existing relationship, it can be delightful to realize that sex is much more than mere intercourse. And that you and your partner could reignite your interest in sex through simple acts of caressing, holding hands, and bathing together. So maybe you guys can... Uh, explore those little simple acts together as well just caressing holding hands and bathing together it says you have drawn this card today because it's time to let go of a social norm or idea deal that you compare yourself to and give your sexual self permission to be authentic true sexual freedom is about giving yourself permission to express explore and share in ways that feel meaningful to you and then the bottom of the uh, deck here we have emotional freedom. I think that those are two cards that go together very nicely. Uh, sexual freedom and then emotional freedom. Wow, cool. So let's read emotional freedom. It says true emotional freedom is liberating in its ability to embrace individuality in yourself and others. 
In our modern society, we often encounter the notion that being single means you are free, while being in a relationship means you're not. Nothing could be further from the truth. Many single people feel trapped by loneliness and an inability to embrace certain aspects of life without a partner. Indeed, we often find that two people together may accomplish and enjoy much more of the, much more of what the world has to offer than was possible on their own. If you've drawn this card today, you have drawn this card today because deep down you still believe or fear that being in a loving relationship will compromise your personal autonomy and emotional freedom. No matter how much you desire love and commitment, on the one hand, there is a part of you that holds back because of this old feeling. And, you know, maybe that's why the death card is here on this emotional, on the uh, divine feminine side. It's because she's needing to express emotional freedom as well, because she has a lot of cups in her reading and in and, and her layout. So this could be for her, and the, the sexual freedom message probably was for the Divine Masculine. But let me just keep going here. Um, alternatively, if you are already in a relationship, it's time to acknowledge that your partner is not really limiting or suppressing you. No one can truly control you. So this card is suggesting that it's time to reclaim your power. Make healthier choices for yourself and act upon them. True emotional freedom is not about keeping secrets from your mate. You may succeed in deceiving your partner, but you cannot deceive yourself in the long run. Rather, emotional freedom is about acknowledging the differing attitudes and perspectives each person holds and creating a relationship that can, embrace them, that can embrace them all. Then each of you will feel free to think, speak, and act authentically while sharing the uniqueness of your experience with each other. This generates a feeling of mutual support, care, and understanding and leads to an amazing freedom that celebrates the truth of who you are. So again, I mean, I think both messages can go for both sides. You know, um, maybe this, uh, that is why the Divine Masculine is with this Capricorn because it, uh, it allows him freedom, you know, releases him from that prison that he had put himself in when there was in that old marriage where there was no uh, emotional support and now he's freed by this Capricorn to this place of emotional freedom and you know of sexual freedom because she also embodies this um, Queen of Wands Queen of, Queen of Wands or Queen of Rods in this deck energy as I feel like you know the um, the Capricorn energy embodies everything so you know that that queen of pentacles or the capricorn can shape shift between each of the different elements because that takes you know within earth other all of the other elements wouldn't even exist you know what i'm saying why would we need air in space you don't need air in space you need air in earth why would you need water in space there's there's no need for water in space <laughs> you know but we need it in earth to nurture it fire you know what i'm saying space i guess space does need fire that's why we have the sun and um and i guess the other elements are within the uh other planets but they are just straight dominating you know it's either straight fire or this is just a you know a planet of fully that one element but the earth has all of the different elements together which you know is what creates life i feel or, or make life um an option or what's the word make life uh, yeah an option on earth you know and there's maybe life on other planets but for humanity we need earth we need this this uh this balance of elements in order to to live and to express ourselves um but yeah Beautiful, beautiful energy. So we'll see. See how things turn out. All right. Peace.